Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So we've got a new video series where we're going to be going into detail about the new drift car. We're going to do a little rundown on some of the basics that it already has, discuss the weekend that's been, and some of the upcoming plans. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the chassis and setup. So this is a XR6 Turbo Falcon Ute V-Series platform. It's a native Australian car, typically driven by Bogans like myself. It's a great little bit of fun, a bit of a workhorse. They came with a one-ton rating. So when we picked this car up, it had been on the track already. It had a roll cage fitted. It had had a bit of a life, but it wasn't really what we wanted out of a race car, so we sort of started again. Now, we're going to go into a little bit of what we've done since we picked it up, so let's go have a look. Okay, so starting with the cabin, we've got a full roll cage built by Walker Chassis. This was already fitted to the car when we got it. We've done a pair of Velo racing seats. We have a Velo driver's seat belt and Pro Force in the passenger. It has a custom hydro handbrake set up. The rest of it is fairly standard at the moment. We've just got an oil pressure gauge just to keep an eye on things. There will be more gauges to come. We've had the battery relocated to behind the passenger seat and we've got our fire extinguisher. Okay, so what we have here is pretty typical of what you find underneath the bonnet of an XR6 turbo. So this is a Barra 4 litre. They came factory with a small turbocharger running around 200, 220 rear wheel kilowatts. So we're still running the factory turbo. We've only done an exhaust upgrade and a wastegate actuator upgrade. It's got a larger intake. We're running an external oil cooler just to keep things nice and happy. This is on the FG manifold, upgraded intercooler. We're running 1,000cc injectors in a plasma man rail, upgraded rising rate regulator, and the only internal mod is valve springs. Everything else inside the motor is pretty standard. So that's now making a uh, low 400 rear wheel kilowatts, about 1,000 newton meters. Okay, so as we come around the rear of the car here, you can see where a lot of the time has gone into the build. So we've got the large carbon fiber wing up here. We've gone a Nissan 300ZX twin turbo subframe. This was to replace the live axle that the Ford had to achieve a lot more grip. We've had to go a Jex 35 litre polycell foam filled to suit E85. Teflon Raceworks braid throughout. Proflow twin 380 litre pumps. So that pretty much summarizes the build for now. Okay, so that pretty much brings you up to speed. If you want to see any more about how the build came about, head over to the Facebook page, 9 Degree Motorsports. There's a lot of stuff we didn't document here that was captured on that Facebook page. Also, there'll be a lot of updates to come, so stay tuned on that page. Head on over and give it a like. Um, so as for the weekend, we did have a great time out there. We had a few problems. We had a rocker cover gasket leak badly, which put us out for a few hours, as well as the hydro handbrake failing. So the hydro is going to be repaired. We got the gasket leak fixed while we were there. We got back out onto the track and killed some tyres. So we've got a lot to change now. When, next step, we're going to be looking to change the front end setup. So we're going to be moving over to Driftworks Knuckles. They're from an S chassis. So we're going to be changing to them. A lot of custom setup. We're going to do some custom upper control arms as well as modified lower control arms. Hopefully we'll be able to bring a lot more lock as well as a new handbrake. We'll see a lot better work, so stay tuned. 